Hi guys, what's going on today? Welcome back to another episode of the Outdoor Digest. I'm your host, Gavin Dro. I got a special episode for you today. I'm here with my buddy Jag with Jag Fishing, um, and he's putting me on some walleyes. We're uh, gonna be targeting walleyes that are pre-spawn. They're moving up into the river systems to find their spawning ground, so we're hoping to intercept them. But Jag's already got a few videos out. I'll put a link in the description below for him and his channel. He's been smacking them around a little bit, so. We're looking to get out there and get on them, right, boyo? But we're going to really kill them today. We're going to put a beating on them. <laughs> we're going to put a beating on them, hopefully. His buddy was out here the other day, and he was out for like two hours. What did he catch, 30? I think about 30, 35. 30, 35. Complete so, mayhem. Yeah, so it's going to be, it's going to get a little nutty. It's not a question of if we're going to catch any. It's going to be more of a question of how many and how big. But yeah, should be a good time, guys. Stick with us. We'll see you out on the water. Not a bad wallet. Probably 16, 17 inches at most. Yep. Hooked up. Uh, I wish I was recording. Hooked up. First cast over here. Doesn't feel huge, but got some decent head shakes to it. So guys, is what we're doing is this, obviously there's a big current break right here on this side, but on the far side, there's actually a little island and it's got some decent rockage, which they like to hang out on. And this guy, I'm actually gonna flip him into my hand. This guy isn't huge, I mean, but look at how bad he choked that bait right there. Like he inhaled it. Cause when these fish move up shallow, you know, there's not a lot of opportunity for them to feed. So they definitely got to take full advantage, but these guys are not in season. So the way the regulation stays, you got to get them back in the water with as little harm as possible. That being said, I'm keeping out of the water too long. So he's going right back, but these fish are super charged up. So it's not an issue, but yeah, number one in the boat in the boat we're fishing from shore jago <laughs> go back fishing jago <laughs> you know what was going to say <laughs> i'm fighting to get a bite but i'm not discouraged by any stretch there we go as soon as i say it oh well, what's up this one feels Pretty heavy, I ain't gonna lie to ya. Definitely got some decent head shakes. This was on the pause, actually. Yeah, this is a good one. This guy was on the pause. It was just sitting on bottom, but with the paddle tail, you kind of get a, you know, you might be sitting on bottom, but that paddle tail still, or that paddle tail still giving it a little action. So it's kind of why I like the paddle tail in some aspects. But yeah, this is a good fish right here. I'll grab him right off. Got him, yeah. He's probably, this guy's probably 20 all day, boy. Oh, absolutely inhaled it. All right, let's get a release of this guy. Thanks, buddy. He might charge out, just letting you know. Let him get his bearings real quick. Makes for a nice, healthy release. He's thinking about it. He's pissed off because you're touching him. There we him. go. 
After every fish, especially toothy fish, just make sure you check your knot. I run my finger right here, make sure there's no frays. Pull the knot, she's good to go. I'm getting, I mean, you were casting there too, but see that bar that comes out of that point? Like in that back current, there's. That's a good one. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That, that feels decent. Or it could be the current. No, no, there's no normal size one. Very nice. Very nice. So I went for the big camera grab. Failed miserably, so I'm just going to go pro. Good job, Jago. Making me want to switch to a Kai Tak. guys so i took a little break from filming or from fishing so i could film whoa so i could film my buddy jago and i got some pretty good footage that being said i'm back at it getting motivated to fish again so here we go i do like this rod this rod oh no shit. hooked up <laughs> hooked up i got everything off jago's <laughs> just entertain me. He's been trying to get me to switch to his Kai Tech all morning. Just entertain me. Just, just throw my, just throw my rod a few times so we can record it. And he had his stuff off. This ain't a bad one, dude. This ends a about a three-hour lull for me. Second cast with the Kai Tech. Great after. This is a better one, Jago. I'm actually gonna come down. To grab this guy, I'm not gonna be able to swing him. Jack, this is a good one, dude. Wow. So, like I was saying, Jack, I haven't really caught much. Jack's got 20 to my now five. <laughs> so, come on, just throw my reel at if you're not gonna switch. I throw his rod. Two casts, two fish. This one's probably the big one of the day. Look at that girl. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Go ahead, buddy. They're really charged up. But definitely when you can, make sure you um, get a nice healthy release. But yeah. Smalley! Smalley! Molly guys, I'm gonna try to flip them up to me. Might not work. Oh yeah. I thought he was fighting a little different. I thought he was fighting a little different. Look at that guy, he's a pound and a half, two pounds at the most. Nice little smolly. Go back. Later dude. So what I did is I just worked out this little pile and this is kind of sketchy if you're ever in an area like this with these little build ups when the water's high you step in like a soft soft spot you can go right down I've done it before you go right up to your hip and freaking water or whatever you need to do. I worked right out to this point and I'm just casting pretty much across I had bop 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 and I thought I felt a tick I kind of lift it back and there's a smolly it's kind of cool Let's see if we can go get another one Whoa. Yeah. So I would have got, I would have went totally in if it wasn't for this 
little branch right here. So guys, remember earlier when I was talking about how you gotta be careful walking on top of this stuff? Well, yeah, so that's it. I went up to about a little past my knee right there. Cool beans. All right. All right, guys, Jack and I are sick of it. As you can see, he's dancing. He's ready to get out of here. He's hungry. We're hungry, so we're getting out of here. But I appreciate you guys. We got on some fish today. We had a really good time, um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below for sure. As always, please like, share, subscribe. Sharing's important. It's all important. But either way, we have fun doing it, and that's all that matters. So until next time, guys, we're out.